Trump defeats Nikki Haley in New Hampshire primary. Donald Trump is projected to have notched his second straight win in the Republican presidential nominating race by defeating his last remaining major rival, Nikki Haley, in New Hampshire's primary on Tuesday night. But while the former president was on track for a double-digit win over Haley as of late Tuesday, with votes still being counted, he quickly lashed out at his former UN ambassador. who said in her own remarks that our fight is not over, as she looked ahead to the next major primary in my sweet state of South Carolina. Trump, speaking shortly after Haley at his own event, mocked her attitude. Who the hell was the imposter that went up on the stage before and, like, claimed a victory, he said in a drastically different tone after his commanding victory in the Iowa caucuses last week, when he praised his opponents. Well, I want to thank everybody. This is a fantastic state. This is a great, great state. I voted for Trump. Um, I, he was great for the economy. I voted for Nikki Haley. Um, I think she's the best candidate. I'm afraid Trump is just too much chaos and too much uh, about him. New Hampshire is first in the nation. It is not the last in the nation. This race is far from over. There are dozens of states left to go. He suggested he was angered at the way Haley had handled the results, then added, I don't get too angry, I get even. The dueling remarks suggest where the primary race is headed next, with Haley, calling herself scrappy and a fighter, insisting that her ability to lose by less to Trump. In New Hampshire shows she can eventually manage to crack open his base of support by continuing to challenge him, first in South Carolina and then on Super Tuesday in March and beyond. Trump, who retains a commanding lead in the polls and an increasing number of major Republican endorsements, 